One of the use cases for Windows 365 is as jump stations into more lockdown environments. Or in another phrasing, use them as pause, privileged access workstations. I wouldn't say it's the perfect use case for Windows 365, but it is certainly one to keep in mind. In this use case, you lock down the cloud PC as much as possible in order to prevent any data leakage. Part of that is that you'll want to make use of features like the screen capture protection. And screen capture protection is going to be a big part of this video, as the topic is locking down your cloud PCs. Sound good? Cool. Just to kind of paint the picture of how you would design for such a locked down environment, consider you have a VNet in Azure with a bunch of servers connected to it, which contain sensitive data. The traffic in and out of this VNet is tightly controlled through NSGs or in some other manner. You then create an Azure network connection that connects your cloud PCs to that VNet. And since the cloud PCs themselves aren't directly exposed to the internet, the only way in would be through the Windows 365 service, which of course you then would protect the sign-ins to by using conditional access, identity protection, and so on. So to begin with the screen capture protection, this basically is a feature that detects when the screen is being recorded, either by a user doing a print screen or by them recording the screen, and it then replaces the contents of your cloud PC with just black. Sounds pretty simple, right? Well, yes, it really is, both in terms of setting it up and sadly also in terms of getting around, because routing your video through a capture device, for example, is one easy way around it. But the screen capture protection was never really intended to prevent intentional screen captures either. It is intended to prevent unintentional screen captures. The setup of screen capture protection is pretty simple. It's really just one registry setting or group policy setting. So enabling it across all of your cloud PCs is a pretty simple challenge. But if you wanted to, you know, enable it on a single cloud PC, you could do that through the registry. Like here I am in the registry, add local machine, software, policies, Microsoft, Windows NT, and then terminal services. And if I wanted to enable screen capture protection, I could just simply add a new D word value and call that F enable screen capture protect, and we'll give it a value of one, and then simply disconnect my session, and then connect back in to have the screen capture protection enabled. You can see that the screen capturing of my cloud PC is now replaced with a black screen. Another closely related feature that I would guess is coming pretty soon is the watermarking feature that we saw GA for Azure Virtual Desktop not long ago. I have a video on it, so if you want to see that in action, you can check it out. Link is in the description. While it doesn't prevent anything, it does give you some traceability if any data leaks should occur. But moving on to more things you already can do to lock down your Windows 365 environment, and that is device redirections. Because in the default setup of Windows 365, everything on the local device gets redirected and is usable within the cloud PC. And that is not something you want in a lockdown environment because that means that your users can easily bring files and other data out of your cloud PCs where you have control and to places where you no longer have control over the data. So either set up a configuration profile in Intune or a group policy to disable drive redirection, clipboard redirection, print redirection, even consider disabling the audio redirection and so on. Go as far as you need in order to get that kind of data security that you need. Like I said, you can do this through a configuration profile in Intune. So that will be under devices. And then you have configuration profiles. And then we'll select create a new profile. We will select the Windows 10 or later platform. And the profile type would be settings catalog. Then hit create. We will call this demo. Hit next. And from the configuration settings, we would add settings. Then we could search for, for example, redirection. And then scroll on down to, for example, devices and resource redirection. And tick the do not allow clipboard redirection, do not allow drive redirection, for example. Let's use those to begin with and close that. And select that this should be enabled. And hit next, skip the scope tags for now. And under assignments, you would then assign this to the cloud PCs that you want to you know 
locked down. And keep in mind that you don't have to configure all of your cloud PCs in the same way. You can have a set of cloud PCs with these kinds of restrictions, while others don't have the same kinds of restrictions. So consider setting up your users with a normal user with a normal cloud PC, and then they can have a restricted user with a restricted cloud PC. And that's how you can use cloud PCs in more locked down environments. Hit the like button if this video brought you any value and subscribe if you're not already. And keep an eye out for the next video in this series. Cheers.